What's up, Android fans? Tech and Me's back, and this time I'm gonna show you what I got on my phone. So let's get to it. Okay, first things first, the lock screen. I have Widget Locker on my phone, so I really like Widget Locker, especially the Sense lock screen. Love that. So here we have the Sense lock screen. And I have my phone here. I can go straight to my, what is that, Google Currents. I can go to my browser. And I can go straight home, navigation. That's a shortcut to navigate to home. And then here I have maps, because I use my phone for navigation purposes. I just had that icon, because I didn't want to mess up the look. So I just have that four dots right in the middle. And then I have my clock and my, what is this? This is the camera, yeah, so I can slide my camera or not, or whatever. And then I have this, this is HD widgets. So I have the time and I have the weather showing me. And I have, what is that? I can pull down my notification bar right up there. So that's widget locker on my phone. So that's my lock screen. Next, I'm using home, uh, what is, uh, I'm using Go Launcher as my home re home replacement. So I really like Go Launcher. So here I have, I have the icon set to max. That's like huge icons or something. So let's see. Um, so I have five down here. Can't be changed. Can't be scrolled. That's it. Five. Uh, over here I have my Twitter. That is Go Twitter widget. I, I used to have Plume Twitter widget, but now I have Go Twitter. I'm just playing around with it. What I really like about the Go Twitter is like, suppose I want to favorite a tweet. I can just click on it and boom, right there, I can just favor it like that. So really like that about Twitter. And then I have the Facebook widget for it with Go Facebook widget. Okay, here I have my calendar and this is a Jort calendar. It's really nice and I have it set to strawberry milk look and it's kind of transparent-ish as you can see. So that's that. Um, let's see. So that's three over here and I can go infinite scroll so I can go from one home to the other and back to the home screen and back to the home screen we have a nice little wallpaper I'll have the wallpaper uh, post on my lightbox account as well as my Twitter account so check that out if you want the wallpaper and then uh, here I have uh, HD widgets again just like the lock screen but the lock screen look of the HD widgets was different right it has this uh, flip kind of clock but here I have the transparent dish clock so I can see the clock I, I can see my wallpaper I don't like my home screen that is the main home screen the default home screen to be uh, kinda all clocked up with applications and all that stuff so here we have that and I can go straight to my phone my camera my app launcher right I mean my application drawer sorry and then I have go SMS <laughs> And I have my, that's my web browser. I just changed the look of the, what is that, icon. So it looks like a nuclear whatever. Uh, dolphin browser, all right? Let's exit out of Dolphin. Now what I can do is I can just swipe up and boom, right to my maps. Because I, I use my maps a lot, so that's why I have that as a shortcut too. And then what else do I have? I can hide my... What is notification bar is gone, boom. I just swipe down, notification bar is back up, swipe up, I mean swipe down and notification bar, bar is gone. I swipe up and I go to my different home screens on my phone. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven home screens. And the fourth one is right in the middle, right? Okay. On this side I have, this is a, what is this, Go Power widget. So I can have power toggles, I have Wi-Fi, I have 3G. The main point I have this toggle widget is because I like 3G switching off and on. I can just press that and boom, 3G is off now. So it doesn't have like background data sync. So when I'm going to sleep or something, I just switch that on and off. So it saves a lot of battery. And then I have different power toggles like uh, br brightness and auto rotation and all that stuff. Next, right over here. All right, I have this. This is basically um, what do you call this? This is profile setting profiles light. I've reviewed it before. I have the link 
right over here check it out setting profiles light really nice you can change the profile like right now I have it on loud I can just click boom and it'll go on silent the serenity I can go extreme and it'll be super loud and all that stuff I can change my wallpaper with that so that's like just like a small little widget all right here I have my Twitter and boom see go to my Twitter okay and that's my lightbox account follow me on lightbox at tech and me so that's my light box. I check it out. I have fun with it. Easy PDF readers. So I read a, a lot of stuff on my phone. So PDF files is best way for me. So easy PDF reader is the best PDF reader. Then I have my widget locker settings because I like to play around with my lock screen all the time. Then I have words with friends because I play this a lot. And then right over here I have this contact widget. It's called animated contact widget check it out I just press that and boom I have my most commonly called contacts right I can just click on one of them and it'll call straight there I can click on here and it'll call, call him or whatever So that's animated contact widget really cool really nice you can have it even set as squares and all that stuff it's kind of like a folder you can even have animated widget as uh, applications instead of contacts I have it used for contacts next I have my Chase, Chase bank account stuff so I can manage that then I have my, what is this, Appy Geek. This is a, basically an app I use a lot because uh, I read uh, a lot on my phone and this just gives me all the tech stuff right off. And I use Google Currents too. So these are the two most uh, news, common news apps that I use for tech stuff only. I don't need like world news and all that stuff. I don't read that. Next, over here I have Home Replacements because uh, Home Smack, which... Uh, lets me toggle between different home screens home replacements because I keep trying that on and uh, keep trying different home screens so I can give you guys the best uh, what is that best home screen uh, I can give you guys reviews of new home screens and all that stuff so that's home smack trying out different home screens and over here I have my Zedge which is basically wallpaper ringtone and notification sounds and I really like this lots of wallpapers to choose from and that's my one of my favorites I love changing my wallpapers so that's my wallpaper app next page I have right over here uh, for the next page I have what is this Android widget which is basically a market widget and it shows me different apps that are featured on the Android market and here I have one weather which is basically a new new weather app I was trying out and really liked it so I set it up so this is the one weather widget I can just click boom I go straight to my one weather app which is really cool I really like it you can sw swipe and all that stuff check it out I'll be doing a review uh, on my app roundup pretty soon so I'll have this in there so that's one weather widget right there and I have my catch notes which I can take quick notes just type in whatever I want and I can save it right I don't want to save that discard so that's catch notes I can even take a picture and save that as my thing. And this is the Appy Geek, uh, what is this widget? So I can just uh, scroll and uh, look for new apps and all that stuff. New, uh, what is that, tech, tech news. And next page, I have the Go, what is that, Go Note widget. Here I can draw, write, whatever I want, right? So I have that. I just wanted to like it. I wanted you guys to like my video. So that's like uh, whatever uh, that's go widget uh, go note widget and then on here I have my any do app which is my basically uh, task manager not task manager what is it um, to do list and I have different stuff written on there here I have my manage applications shortcut which goes straight to my settings and managing applications because I install and uninstall apps very very frequently so that's my manage applications that's my Google AdSense shortcut, that's my YouTube account shortcut, and that's Ultimate Face Pro where I'm just installing and uninstalling apps so I can, uh, lots of apps here, see? I try out about 20 and I only review about 10, so yeah. Uh, that's Ultimate Face Pro, Face Pro, so I can have that. And then back to George Calendar, so that's that. The look of this is basically uh, what theme am I running is uh, iOS Extreme theme. It's really cool and gives that squarish iOS kind of icons, but the icons are much more Androidish. Battery low, much much more Androidish kind of. So 
with a touch of Android stuff so really nice and lastly I have a swipe pad over here so here I have flashlight phone some of my contacts clocks Zedge again Google Currents, Market, uh, what else? Yahoo Mail, Google Maps, Gallery, and Task Manager that comes with the phone. And over here I have, what is this? Uh, this is Wave Launcher. So I have, uh, these were the apps I recently opened. So they're all my recently opened applications. Like, right, that's One Weather, which I just showed you. And so that's really cool. And that's my recently opened applications, Wave Launcher. I really like that. I can just be like, I can be in any of the things and I can just swipe and I can go straight to my like weather and then I can swipe again, go to my multitasking, lots of multitasking. Uh, what is this wallpaper app, right? So lots of multitasking. It's really fun. So that's, uh, that's my look. All right, that's it for now. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like it. Favorite it helps me out a ton guys and that's it. This is Tech and Me signing out and as always take care guys. Peace. Bye bye. Shoo.